Welcome back guys to Golden Sun where we begun our infiltration of Lumpa after backtracking last episode and getting a gin we missed. So with that said we enter and start to work our way through. The infiltration will continue. Right then, with that said, we've got ourselves what seems to be a big complex here. Probably shouldn't talk to people, but still. we thanks damn it. We can enjoy food and drink all day long. And I guess you think we're part of your crew, do you? Dumper is supposed to be old. I wonder what he's fighting with in the fortress. That's why he's been in poor form and spends his time resting. What are you going to do? What, what the... I wonder what he's fighting with in the fortress. Why is he fighting with something? I'm kind of confused. Do you mean like an illness or some such? We've had here, we can milk as much money as we want out of Calais. He's a money tree for us. Look. Right, well that said, I wonder if there's something to pick up here, but it doesn't look like it. What's up with you, young lady? Where could the dumper be? He's not in his room. He couldn't have left. Alright then, we've got to kind of figure out where the dumper is as well. The dumper's wife was looking for him. She can't find him anywhere. Well that said, let's start our moving around and discovering places. That looks like a way out. Right. This door is tightly locked. It seems like we need to find some kind of key or some such. Okay, a guard is there and the shadows kind of hint at me not getting past all well, that kind of structure. So, over here however is going to be. So it's time to change some of our shortcuts here I think. Cloak is going to be on the left reveal on the right. That's probably the best way to go about doing things, and we are nicely past those guys. Time to start cloaking everywhere we go by the look of it. Right, so we can make it to here without an issue. I do wonder what's along this way though, considering we can go in two places. Let's go in this one first of course, and find out. Right, there's definitely got to be something hidden after all. Oh, we got ourselves another vial. What, what, who goes there? Who, who are you? You don't look nearly as mean as the thieves in the fortress. Did you sneak into Lumpa Fortress and search for something? Yes, I'm going to tell the truth. The great merchant Hammett? I tell you if I knew, but I don't. Right then, so he's not that evil and he's not going to sell us out, which is not bad. We continue to sneak around with our cloak. It seems we can go anywhere we want cloaked here. Oh, oh, no wonder why. Oh, did I just get myself in big trouble? I think I may have. Who are you? How did you get in here? And so I've been chucked out. Right then, instead of exploring, don't come back, you say. Well, with that said, I'm going to go straight back. So, we've got ourselves a pure stealth sequence found once and ends everything. So we remember our route from now quite nicely, but okay, they're going to be patrolling at that point. And I kind of just walk myself into the stupid place straight away. Who'd have guessed it? I was just like, well, everything's dark. Let's go check things out. That didn't work for me at all. Right then, light guy who can dispel our cloak. We're going to stay well away. We're not opening that gate at the moment by the look of it after all. Now we're making our way through. And we're on the opposite side, if I had to say, from where we were before, heading upwards. So again, another patrolling guy. Doesn't stop us from going over here, however. Uh, yeah, we're not going forward there. So he did definitely look different color than all these green guys with their lights. So we are s I did not- Ah, uh, that, that is not right. Can you see how clearly in the shadow I still am? I would, did not even touch the edge. I guess they're a bit bigger than what is displayed. That was not fair. I am annoyed at this. Let's find this key. This is going to be one of my most annoying segments in the game, that's for sure. How dare you, game. Unless maybe the cloak itself wore off and has a time limit. Which is a theory that I have not to te yet to test, if you know what I mean. We could stand around and wait to see if it does. I mean, stuff like Reveal does wear out on its own after all. But to be honest, if it doesn't wear out in the time it takes me to get past this guy, then I'm or out of this room, then I'm pretty sure, to be honest, it doesn't wear out based on a time limit. Wouldn't you say? Well, I better get out of here all the same. So that was just... See, like, 
passed pretty close to that, but I guess with the way they were moving, it was not good for me. Maybe I had to wait a little bit more, let's put it that way. That's just cheating. I don't like that whatsoever. Right, hello ladies! Many all of these women were brought here against their will, like me! Ah, I want to go back to my hometown. Just one more time. Poor, poor Domper. Domper's behavior is driving him into despair. Domper can't last much longer like this. Is there anything hidden here? No. So we continue on our way. Okay, just lit corridors. Oh, what? Who are you? Could this be the guy who's come to get Hammett back? Yeah, I bet he is. What a bold rascal. The Domper will be livid if we lose Hammett. Really going to be in it for it if we let these kids get away. Oh wait, so the red ghost fight us? You're not going any farther, not without some serious bruises anyway. Oh okay, so the red ghost fight us, the brigands, and the green guys catch us and chuck us out. That's interesting, and that's information we could have used a little bit earlier if you know what I mean. Right, well that said then, I guess it's time to... Now let's go storm right? Nuke these guys down with powerful abilities and spells. Icehorn, go! To be honest, I don't see you lasting against me. We'll found their weakness straight away. If we want to use it, that's another question. Mortal danger! Spirit being drained, no damage having to be done, so we don't know how close we are to defeating these guys, but it still seems a little bit off. That's for sure. Right, you're in a delusion, are you? Let's see how much damage it takes to defeat one of these. Well, nimbly dodges the blow. These brigands are quite good. Barrage doesn't finish that guy, they're weak to fire as well! Now I'm getting confused. Right, maybe they've all got different weaknesses, I don't know. Well, we'll defend here. We will scorch with a blast attack on you then, and gust over here, and then we'll figure out what was going on from that. 87 damage is enough to weaken him, so they, maybe they've got dual weaknesses. Crystal powder to hit me with a spell? Oh, they're using synergy, they're cheating! Cheats! I mean, wait a second. I've been cheating for a long time. Thinking about it. Uh, yes. Maybe I shouldn't complain. Okay, with that said, feverish delusion. And we have ourselves another attack. We want to attack twice next round. And score wishes. Paralyze a foe of a storm. So we'll use that one on top of that. Another wish. Okay. It seems fire might be the true weakness. But they're also weak to Ivan's attacks as well. Well, sorry guys, we kind of knocked you out a little bit. So fire's the true weakness, but also weak to wind attacks of some sort there. Okay. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, let's wish them back up. A little bit of apply there, and keep on continuing. All right, all right, we give up. If you're here for Hammett, he's down the cave. Go get him already. Well, we kind of should have gone a different way as well. Hmm. All right, apart from that, we'll not reveal. It's Gloak, of course. And mind you, we're not actually getting past here. It seems now we're fighting everyone. Huh? Who's that? You're pretty bold to come charging into a den of thieves. Did you look right out when you ran into me. Show me your stuff. Okay, then, sir, you're a single brigand. Do you really think this is going to go well? Well, considering you nimbly dodge quite a bit, I imagine quite yes, you probably think that it's going to go well. Okay, so with a Scorch attack to finish the job, will that finish it nicely? Or will Ollis be the last damage? No, I thought you'd need a bit more. Smoke Bomb Delusion has no effect. And Scorch will definitely hit during the weakness damage. And Ollis is now a level 22 Lord. Oh, and that, this time round we've completely banished him from existing. Right, there's two ways to go though. There's a way out here and a way forward. Okay, that way's with green guys again, so we're gonna go this way for now. Hello! Oh, we found Domper, have we? Shh! Please don't wake Domper. He's been driven to despair after battling a terrible foe. It is all because of that doll Domper! Are you the one who Domper said would come to punish the Domper? Kind of, yes I am, I guess. Domper has waited a very long time for you. Domper knows that he coddled the Domper too much as a child. It pains him so much, he can't die with things the way they are. Maybe if the Domper's eyes are opened, 
Lumpur will be a good place again. Well, the Dumper's staying well asleep. With that said, can we read his mind? Father, I'm so sorry about the Dumper. Someone will teach him a lesson someday. Well, if you want me to, I think you should let me through, because to be honest, what's behind there is probably good. Maybe the Dumper's eyes are open, Lumpur will be a good place again. You say that, but there's a secret passage there and I want to go through it. Well, with that said, we move on to a different area. Now, how are you patrolling, sir? Okay, round in a circle. Okay, round in a circle and round wherever you want to go. Different ways of looking at things there. Well, we open up here, but the door is tightly locked. Hmm. There's definitely a key to get to here. But how can we break through to it, is the other question. I guess we can't use a synergy to grab it, maybe? Like lift? Or catch? That was too wishful thinking. Come on, a bit closer. Let's try again. Oh my goodness, it works! Right, we have ourselves a cell key, and Ivan now possesses it. So with that said, we walk straight on through and fight you, sir. Huh? Who's that? You're pretty bold to come charging into a den of thieves. I am indeed. Your luck ran out when you ran into me. Well, singular brigands don't really worry me too much, do you know? Mortal danger will suck your soul, or maybe not. He's got many weaknesses, it seems, that's for sure. Well, with that said and done, I think we should just defend and let the weakness strike go forth. You are faster than Garrett, though. But either way, you will go down. We will take as much experience as we can garner. So where does this lead? I wonder if that's something here. Nope, nothing in the barrel. Could use reveals to check it quickly. Have we seen this guy before? Well, where are we going at the moment? Hey, intruder! You think you're going any farther? Sorry, but you're gonna have to fight your way through. Well, now I'm getting lost in the overall maze here. I wonder if there's a gin or something like that in the complex, considering it's got so many rooms to it. Barrage comes out to do an extra bit of damage there, and the stunned opponent means that I'm wondering exactly how close he is to Doom. Indeed, so we go for Weakness Strike again. Let's go Ivan as well. I don't think that will take him out after all. It's just going to add a little bit more paralyzed opponent. Can't do anything about that attack coming in. We've got some Crystal Powder for defeating him though, so I don't mind that. Right. Reset the Ginny. And head back to the previous room. Why is that, you say? Because, of course, we didn't check out that door, whereas the other one looks like it is a place to continue onwards. It's getting very confusing now, that's for sure. Right, this takes us back round to the front, however, so at least we know where we are, roughly. That must be a shortcut room. I'd say this room is very important puzzle-wise. So with that said, we're going to continue on this way and check where this leads before we head down there. Right, so multiple rooms to go through here. Hello! Papa always gets friendly with the ladies when Mama's not looking. That's why Mama always keeps a sharp eye on Papa. Are you Dompers? Do you know where the Domper is? I think you might be. Ah, <sighs> don't tell me he's gone off trying to relieve, relive his youth again. Relive? I take my eyes off him for a minute and he's off chasing a new sweetheart. Really? You're accepting of that? Dompers' child is so well behaved. I can't believe he's his father's son. Well, her voice changed. It's a pity the child can't have an innocent childhood. Yes. Papa misbehaves and makes Mama worry. I have to be good so Mama won't have to worry so much. He's, aff he's affecting his kids as well. It kind of does make you want to beat him up a bit. Mind you, only beat him up because killing him seems a bit... Yeah. Right, so that brings us back to here, which is where we saw the guard before. So we could have used that to come round to here, but then we wouldn't have been able to open that. Maybe not with the catch. Maybe we had to do it from that side, so it seems we've looped round and explored pretty much everything here. So down we go to a very obvious thing. Reveal's not going to do much. No, whirlwind is, however. And what did I reveal? A switch, you say? To open up a door. So with that said, it seems we've got ourselves into a main complex. Now, I was about to say, are there going to be monsters here? There are indeed. Kobolds have appeared. The same enemies in the Gondawan cave. Well, look at it. Oi, vile dirge. What are you doing? Don't be attacking first. I don't care surprise attack or not. 
it's just me. Right, so let's uh, use a couple of spells here. And then use a wish to top up everyone. So we know the weakness there. Well, spirit's been drained, instant kill attacks are brilliant. I bet it wouldn't work on a boss though, however. Well, another foe's defeated. And a herb has been used, so... Apart from that, I guess we just go full out attack, try to gust him down, or actually use like Squall or something like that, and finish it off. 116 damage with Squall and a weakness strike. A sleep bomb has been gained, so let's quickly re-equip because that's Ivan's class after all. And we've got ourselves another bit of a cage over there, another prison door to open, but we need to move something to this spot over that way. Everyone attack! If he survives, then Ivan can finish him off next time. Well, that didn't go well for him. Right, so we need to definitely push something that way. Right, a little bit to gust over here. So let's whirlwind that out. And keep on keeping on. To find ourselves a skull, you say? Well, nothing's here for the skull, so that's a bit disappointment. Let's go through the entrance that we just opened, if you know what I mean, as well. Actually, let's send Isaac off to attack that one and everyone to attack that one. That sounds like a good mix. That's why. Considering Ollis can instantly kill, we can kind of leave him to try and take on an opponent his own when we know we've got the rest of the damage elsewhere. Right, so is it a cloaking period again or not? Well, it seems we've got ourselves three entryways to go through. Plus, if we head back here, we can open up another one. Hmm, questions, questions, he says. Right, let's do this. No, let's go... Ah, well, there's that side. We'll flare storm here. Attack weakly there, attack weakly there. That's what I think we're going to do. Mind you, Garrett being the last attack is not that good for me. I kind of need to improve his agility, don't I? Well, no one ended up going down for that, so with that said, now we can set out to do ourselves some weakness strikes. And finish up the job. Oh, no reason for you to attack, my dear. Depending on their HP values, actually. 214 damage, we've got a double strike in there. 114 damage to finish off that one. Another foe finished off as well. Weakness strikes all round, no new items though, however. Don't I play in such efficient fashion, he says. Right, so, to line up this, we've got to push a crate it seems, but of course that's gonna get us into a ton of extra battles. So, we get to work. Life Leech, Ivan's HP is fully restored, he'll always keep himself topped up there, but we've got full of weakness or howling strikes going, apart from the one we needed. We take down that foe, and of course Ivan's going to attack first, so he's not going to weakness strike. And the HP has been sucked away, and Garrett is now a level 22 warrior, Master of the Warrior's Eruption has an ability as well. So it seems about the level where they're all about to learn new skills and new synergies. Let's push this box on through. And at least create that... I wonder actually, if I push this through and then go back to the previous place, if this will stay where I've put it or not. That's a good question, because to be honest, this probably is the main way considering it has the main puzzle mechanic. The other three doors are probably something completely separate and something else. Indeed it is, right then. So we could have just popped here and got ourselves some treasure chests without any issue whatsoever. A power bread has gained. Will we have to push it again because of my idiocy? That's the real question. Maximum HP boost is going to go to... Well, Ivan yours is okay at the moment, but that might also be due to class baseness. Right, a rat warrior appears. Which also means that a rat warrior disappears in about two seconds time. That's just how it goes, I'm afraid. 
Well, if your spirit gets sucked away, it really does disappear. Right, nothing hidden in those, but we can use... What's the point in having one key for everything? I mean, doesn't that just make you really invadable? If you know what I mean? It really makes it like you're gonna go down, do you know what I mean? Ah, it's just crazy. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No sense is made. Alright, life leech. All this attacks as well to not kill it. Oh. Of course it had to. A flying attack comes in. He is losing HP. Which is worrying. So another wish just to top up as well a little bit on Ollis. But the foe goes down and Ivan just keeps his HP up using lots of drains. But it stays there so that's brilliant. And so we open up another pathway to explore next episode as we continue on this infiltration of the fortress to get to the Dompa and open up his eyes or battle him. Whichever one comes first. Maybe we open up his eyes by batting them open, but that would give him a black eye which would close his eyes. Not a good idea. We'll find out a way to remedy this situation next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.